like clock. I can't stop. Fuck around, make my 40 pop. No pop kind. I pop pistols. What is you YouTube? My name is Bear Witness and welcome back to the channel. Today we have another topic on deck for today. I wanted to talk about every fact that I got. I'm still getting comments on some of my older Fortnite videos that talk about, you know, everything wrong with season 5 and 6 I think I did. And now I kind of wanted to talk about this in itself. I'm a really big fan of Battle Royales, but some things that I think about just kind of would increase the overall, like, game health. And I think that if they looked at these and they had a chance to actually talk about them, or if we as a community talked about them and give the video enough buzz that they'd have to end up looking at these things and at least taking them into consideration. So one of the first things I want to talk about today is armor. Now I played this game since the beta and one of the things I find out with armor is the fact that I think that it's gone from being one of the most meaningful things to one of the most, you know, I don't really care kind of things. Like, okay, so at the beginning of the game, when, the, when we were playing in the beta, when we were playing in the blackout beta, when you picked up level 2 armor or level 3 armor, there was a big difference. Now, I feel like it did need somewhat of a nerf, but I think it's gone so much through the nerf hammer, it's practically a graham cracker. Now, in this situation, I want to talk about something that happened to me a couple of days ago when I was playing. I actually picked up level 3 armor off rip, and I actually got into a gunfight with a person. Now... This was a solo 1v1. I don't miss very many bullets. I want to mention that it's not that I'm a bad player, as you guys will see throughout the whole video. It's mainly the thing was that he strip he, he 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 just stripped me of my armor. It was very easy for him, and I find that as a problem. I find armor not to be as useful as it used to be. And either I think it needs a slight buff. That's just my personal opinion. This is all coming from the first season or operation of the game. So these things can lead to be changed. I don't know if they will be changed, but they they could be. I also feel like throwables dominate the game too much. Now, what I mean by this is there's so many situations where you'll end up throwing a grenade. Even I do it sometimes, too. You'll end up throwing something before you even get into the gunfight initially. And that somehow makes some of the gunfights inconsistent. And in situations, it's completely messed me over in certain gunfights. Now, I've gotten into certain gunfights where it'd be perfectly fine and I could have a straightaway gunfight. But most of the time, I end up having a throwing match and it almost seems like I'm playing catch with the person away from me because either I'm throwing a cluster, they're throwing a concussion. They took out the nine bangs, which was okay, although the concussion seemed to have gotten just as broken as the nine bang. And in my personal opinion, when you get hit with the concussion, you almost stay, um, and I'll show you guys a clip about here where I zip line up and I almost get like concussion for so much longer than it seems. And it could be just the fact that in game, things move a lot faster than what you would think. But I personally, I, I don't know. I think the concussions last a little bit too long. I think throwables in general, not necessarily that they all need to be nerfed, but that they need to be like kind of reeled in and you don't need to be able to have so many, maybe cut down the amount that you're able to carry, something like that to kind of add to the games like actual gunfights because I don't feel like I get enough consistent gunfights. I more of throw things at people. So there's that too. <clears throat> And number three, we have that the end game almost always ends in an open field. Now, the problem I have with this is not the fact that it ends in the open field, but a lot of times in these open fields, you're, you have those same situations where you're generally just chucking things at people because you can't get a... I don't know. I personally think that if they made it so you kind of landed more often in a place where or where it, the circle shrinked in at the last part where you were able to have certain close quarters fights, it would add to people's loadouts and, like, their di the differences in when they played each game. Now, because, like, I played a good, I'd say, at least four to 500 games so far, and almost every game that I've made it to the end of, it always ends uh, in, like, an open field. And that causes so many problems, to be honest, because sometimes you don't find the right weapons you need to win long-range gunfights. And sometimes if the person has a paladin or something and you're not able to have one of those weapons, you don't acquire one of those weapons, it's really hard for late game to play that way and play around that. And, yeah, that's where good positioning comes in. I'm not really sure. This one's led uh, is up to speculation by you guys. Tell me what you guys think about the, uh, you know, the end game and what you guys feel about it. I personally think, like I said earlier, those two things, it's dominated by throwables and that it's not enough. You know, it's just not, in my personal opinion. <laughs> Along with that, we have number four. Now, this is one of my personal... I, 
I think that it's getting boring, and it's getting boring a lot faster than Fortnite did for one simple fact. And I bring up Fortnite being the most popular battle royale and being its real competition in the situation. Now, the reason why I bring up Fortnite is because of the fact that at least in Fortnite, although they didn't have major map changes, they made sure to make it a possibility for them to have different, like, uh, points of interest. And when you have different points of interest, it adds to the game and it adds it makes the game feel fresh in some sorts. Whereas in this game, I know we're only in the first season, so this can still happen. But it um like a lot of the places are just kind of boring. You know what I mean? There's I land River Town a lot and I land Firing Range because those are the most close quarters places. I think this map needs a centralized spot, kind of like Tilted Towers, that allows you got the, the lobby to just feel hectic. And I, I, I just feel like that would add a lot to the game, all, as well as it would also make the middle game kind of slow. But the middle game in this game is already kind of slow, based on the fact that people play this game a little bit slower than any other Battle Royale I've seen. I don't know if that's the community or what, but personally, like I said, Blackout is very slow paced. I also want to talk about the fact that equipment at times seems to kind of break the game. Sensor darts are kind of busted. The fact that you can kind of just see a whole building, especially in those moments where you do have a building in your uh, in your last zone and you're able to just kind of sensor dart it and see everybody in there and stuff. It kind of gets stupid and that's kind of one of the things that I think are like, that I could do without. I don't know. I, I think at this point it's kind of accustomed to the game, but that's what I think is a problem. Barricades and everything else, etc. Those types of things really kind of mess with the game. They kind of mess and ebb with the flow of the already slow game they kind of already give people advantages that they shouldn't have in certain situations and I guess I, I don't know there's really nothing you can do if somebody pops a shield right in front of you which I've done many a times if somebody pops a shield right in front of you what are you gonna do you know what I mean so that's another thing um, I want to talk about the fact that there is no down timer as well when you're playing squads with friends you almost have to stay right next to them based on the fact that if you get shot you will not be able to really react to that, and that's kind of my biggest problem. Um, you're not able to really do anything. You're not like if you don't stay right next to them, they will probably die, based on the fact that you're not right next to them and they don't have a down timer, which allows them to be immediately killed after they go down. So that that's kind of a thing that I would also say is something that should be definitely addressed, and that's something that should be changed almost immediately because it really affects the way people are able to play squads. And although you're supposed to use your squad to the best of your ability, sometimes you're not able to have those situations and sometimes there's just not enough loot. So we either need an increase in loot or we need a way for them to fix the down timer. So people can either stay next to each other or spread out and not have to worry about their teammate being instantly dead as soon as they go down. They also have a second to get over to them. The last thing I want to talk to you guys about in this video, and I know I'm kind of moving through these kind of fast. I don't mean to, but it's kind of just what's going through my head right now. The last thing that I want to talk to you guys about right now is the bad audio cues. Now what I mean by this is certain situations where I'll be listening and I'll be sound whoring and trying to figure out where people are. It's very, very stupid for me to be able to listen to a truck coming and it pull up basically right next to me outside of a hut or house I'm in and I'm not even able to realize it because it still sounds like it's forever away. Also, other things like not being able to exactly pinpoint a sensor dart and or barricade or things like that based on the fact that it has the sound, same audio cue, whether it's above or below you, is kind of a problem. So this is why being able to hear exactly what's going on, especially footsteps, whether they're above or below you, is very, very crucial, very, very important, and something that also should almost be addressed immediately. <clears throat> Sorry, I got a frog in my throat. Now... If you guys agree with any of this, or you guys have your own problems with Blackout, I would absolutely love to hear it. If you guys even don't think that these are a problem, and things that they think think sorry that these are things that should not be addressed, that also add to the flavor and uniqueness of the game, then make sure you guys leave a comment down below. I love making these videos based on the fact that I get a lot of different responses, and I'm absolutely curious about to see what the Call of Duty community responds to something like this. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you guys leave a like down below. Also, if you guys haven't joined the Unbearable and you guys want to all you guys have to do is click that sub button and that bell to be notified on every single upload that i upload and i hope you guys have a nice wonderful rest of your day and i will see you guys in the next one peace